So I think one of the most challenging videos to put together in After Effects comes underneath the category of promos or opener type videos where you need to take some video footage, some titles, and just introduce whatever you're talking about. It could be a full like one minute and 30 second promo or just a quick, you know, 10 second introduction to a video. I believe just putting together all these graphics and videos is one of the more difficult things to do because there's just so many different ways to go and approach that. So in this video, we're gonna talk about several essential techniques to creating opener promo videos right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for everyone watching this video today and hope everyone is doing well. I'm very excited about this video because this goes into my philosophy of just improving by one or two percent of every tutorial you watch. A lot of cool, small, quick techniques that you're going to be able to implement in all your projects. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our video and let's start creating something really awesome. And if you want to dissect this project that we have here, I will drop that link in the description and you can download it for absolutely free. All right, so let's get started. We're going to talk about two specific title techniques where we can have our title animating in. And we're also going to make it a seamless title. I'm going to show you how this is done. So when you have your title in here, what you can do is open it up and you come here to animate and you can add a position or any other parameter you want. But we're also going to go to add and add up opacity. And what we can do is come here to position and just bring this title up. We come into range selector one, add a keyframe for start, move forward in time, and set the start up to 100%. And now you'll get this animation like this. You can also come here to opacity that we added and set that to 0%. So then it'll just fade in there if you want to do that. But for a quick opener, I'm going to opt not to do that. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our keyframes and make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. We'll come here to graph editor and we'll grab our out vertice and we'll just drag this all the way across. And we'll grab our first keyframe here and we'll drag that vertice all the way across as well. That's nice. Boom, just pops right in there. I like it. And we'll close animator one. We'll come here to animate and we'll add a track in. Make sure it's in its own animator and we'll increase the track in to go across like this. So one thing you need to make sure is in order for this technique to work, you need to make sure that your title is paragraph centered and realign that. Now you'll be able to increase the tracking from the center and that's very important. So we can have this open up. We can add a keyframe for tracking amount and move forward in our timeline. You know, it can be to the end of our animation if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. So this is a good way to be thinking about our title as we go through our screen. We can have a really awesome title animation and that is awesome. Now, if we wanna take this even further in another technique, we can make this a seamless title and this is really easy to do. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our title and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it title one. And then just to save time and give us more control, I'm gonna duplicate these, but if you wanna learn how to actually create a seamless title more in depth, I have a tutorial on that where you can easily duplicate it, but this is just a quick way. So we'll duplicate this and we can bring this one up. We'll duplicate it down. And from here you go to effect, generate fill, and we can you know, grab like a dark color or something and we can copy that fill and paste it to the other duplicate. So, you know, that, that is pretty cool. A lot you can take a look at, and obviously you can go into that title composition and change out your title. This was a very quick way of duplicating this if you wanna go with that technique. Just another option for you to take a look at if you wanna go with that. Now that we have some title options here, let's talk about how we can customize the video or photo that you have in the background. So all I do here is just grab the rectangle tool and we'll just draw out this rough mask on our video. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, and this isn't the best way to do it, but I like. And what we can do is then hit Astron Keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for it. We'll move it forward in time, and we'll scale up our video clip. And we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. We'll go into the graph editor and drag out that vertice. So now, take a look here, boom, it kind of just, everything pops into place, and that extra movement is gonna make a huge deal uh, in your quick opener or whatever you're working on. I really like that. And here you have the opportunity to create like any sort of, you know, background that you want to help spruce this up even more. So that's up to you if you want to create a background. I'm just gonna keep it black because I like that. And a quick technique I want to implement is distortions. So distortion is very easy to create. We just grab the rectangle tool and we can just draw out a box like this here in the center and we'll turn it off. And we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to grab Displacement Map. All right. Set the Displacement Map layer to Shape 1. And then you can come here to the Vertical and Horizontal Displacements and mess with that. I personally like the Vertical for this one specifically because you see we have some unique options here. So what we could do uh, is we can add a keyframe for Max Vertical Displacement. Move forward, to say, to the end of our composition here. 
and I can displace this even more. And this will just give us a little bit of a unique keyframe animation. So you can essentially create any distortion you want with the rectangle tool. So that's completely up to you if you want to do that and how far you want to go because the more rectangles you add, for example, you know, the more distortions you can create uh, and you know, it's really cool. So before we move on to our next technique where we're going to do a transition between uh, you know, two compositions, I wanna give a quick bonus technique using our motion graphics starter pack. So the motion graphics starter pack is our extension here in After Effects, which has over 500 motion graphic element templates to fully personal made titles with accent graphics on it, you know, to regular titles that you can easily preview. We also have a handful of animated backgrounds logo animations and shape transitions but what's great about this pack is that i can spruce up our composition really quick with our accent motion graphics called clusters so if i really want to do some quick exciting work i can just come here and apply a cluster to our work and as you can see with a click of a button we've been able to add some accent motion graphics really quick and you can go into these compositions and quickly change the colors with our control layers and create any you know color that you want along with every one of our other graphics that we have. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that is on our website. I will link it in the description. And if you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel and all the videos that we do. So thank you so much. So now if we want to have multiple sides of transition between, all we have to do is grab all of our layers in one composition and we'll just go ahead and pre-compose it. And we can just call it, you know, slide one or whatever you want to call it, comp one, doesn't matter and we'll go ahead and expand this timeline to be even longer so now we have two compositions in here we have our one that we just did and another composition and we want to be able to transition multiple slides together it's really easy to do it i'm going to show you a seamless way to do it it's going to be amazing so we'll go to layer new adjustment layer okay we'll go to effect stylize and we're gonna grab motion tile and we'll come a little bit before the end of our first clip and we're simply going to add a keyframe for tile center we'll move past a little bit of the second clip and all we're gonna do here is grab the X or Y value. I like the X in this case, and we'll just really move this over. You're gonna create like several passes here. And then when you wanna finish this off, you just make sure that the composition is put back in place. All right, and then make sure you turn on motion blur. And of course, uh, hit U and keyboard to make these easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now you have all the necessary techniques to create a really cool opener with you know all the titles, some extra effects, and being able to transition them together. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video tutorial. You know, I had a lot of fun doing it. I love this type of work because there's just so many different things that you can do, but I really hope that you've been able to take these techniques we talked about in this video and are able to implement them in your own work. So if you guys are new here and you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.